From the Tour Nation Production Studios, located in the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams located at Fall High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Fall High. I'm Asher Templewood. And I'm Banks Goodmanson. To get things started, as always, stay tuned for today's Time Rewind, Chrissy of good friend, David Mandel. <laughs> the flames enveloped Apollo 1, burning the couches, charring the spacesuits. The crewmen never had a chance. It's Time Rewind for January 27th. 1967 brings tragedy to the U.S. space program. A launch pad fire during an Apollo 1 pre-flight test at Cape Kennedy kills astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee. Fire also wreaks harm in 1984. Pop legend Michael Jackson suffers second and third degree burns on his scalp when pyrotechnics go awry during the filming of a Pepsi commercial. Fast forward to 1991 when Whitney Houston sings the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl 25 in Tampa. And finally, we rewind back to 1910 when Sir Thomas Crapper, considered the prime developer of the flush toilet mechanism still in use today, dies. We're not sure if he received a 21 flush salute. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. On K Tour, the tornado. I'm Ethan checking your traffic and weather together this morning on Good Morning Ball High. First, taking a look at our traffic, checking our Transtar cameras, there's the usual traffic coming onto the island on I 45 from the mainland. Watch out for slowdowns just past 61st Street. The Galveston Ferry is running with its usual waiting times to and from Bolivar. Watch out for ongoing street construction on 37th Street, 23rd Street, and Avenue S. And observe posted speed limits in all school zones. Slow down and buckle up. Galveston weather. Here's your official Good Morning Ball High weather forecast powered by the National Weather Service. Today, look for partly sunny skies and a high near 61. Tonight, look for a chance of shower and a temperature rising to near 62. Tomorrow, look for a cloudy skies and a chance of shower with a high near 70. Now, back to more Good Morning Ball High. If you would like to join the K Tour, the Tornado Team, drop us a line. Don't forget that parking enforcement is in full effect. The security team needs to be able to see all parking passes clearly. For further information, contact Ms. Schumann Dispensa or stop by room 1083 between 12 and 4 each day. Reminder to all students you're not allowed to leave a classroom for any reason without any hall pass. For further assistance, please ask one of your classroom teachers. Here is today's official Good Morning Ball High picture of the day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered as a future picture of the day, Send it to Mr. Judas, we will be happy to feature it. And for even more photos, check out Ball High Photography's photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. The updated tardy policy is in full effect. If you are tardy to first period, you will receive a tardy pass from the front by the clock tower. However, if you are tardy to period second through eighth periods, you have to get a physical tardy pass from the commons area. Remember, a tardy is defined as a student that did not cross the threshold of their classroom door before the bell starts to ring. This year's topic for the Optimist International Essay Contest is who is an everyday hero that brings out the optimism in you. Essays must contain at least 700 to 800 words. Essays are due by February 13th. For further information, see Mr. Merritt or Mr. Dudas. 
The Wall Street Journal is sponsoring a short story contest. The winning entry will be published in Tornado Wins and the online version of the Wall Street Journal. Winning writer will also receive a gift card. For further information, contact Mr. Carpenter. Now, let's check in with Matthew and see what's going on in sports. I'm Matthew here at G-Ball Sports Headlines. In basketball news, the Lady Toys play at home while the guys play out of town. And in soccer news, the Lady Toys play at home while the guys play out of town. And guys potentially interested in potentially starting a volleyball club should plan to attend a meeting next Thursday at 315 in Coach Norfolk's room 2076. As always, no matter what your favorite sport is, go out and support your tours. Now, back to Good Morning Ball High. Now, let's check in and see what's trending this morning on social media. I'm Ethan, and here's what is trending this morning on social media. The world's oldest person on the key to longevity is to stay away from toxic people. The war intensifies in Ukraine, and a Houston named the dirtiest city. Now back to more Good Morning Ball High. Now here are some headlines this morning from newspapers across America. Set furnishing for Good Morning Ball High provided by Star Fine Furniture. Don't forget that Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Check out it for more pop culture and trivia. I'm Asher. And I'm Banks. Wishing, wishing you, you a terrific day. day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs>